Good morning to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Dion. And today I want to talk about my favorite coins to DCA on Bybit. So I recently opened up a Bybit account and I sat and I wanted to set up my DCA coins. So I optimized every single one of the coins uh, in Bybit. And I said to myself, uh, if the coin cannot make 70% profit in one year, then I don't want to trade with it. And so I tested all the coins over this long, really uh, terrible downtrend that we have. And I still wanted to come out with a profit. And so today I want to show you how I set up my bot and what is the, the um, optimization results that I came with. Okay, so I'm going to share my, my screen. Okay, so my title for today is my favorite coins to trade on Bybit. And so my strategy that I use when I trade is to DCA. Now, I want to come here to um, uh, my, my trading view screen. So the whole idea, idea of the DCA. So I got here, uh, my favorite coin to DCA is uh, the Cocos coin, uh, except uh, the Cocos coin is not. Uh, on buy bet um, so but I love to trade it on my KuCoin account and also on my my Binance account so I just want to uh, show you a little bit how it works um, let me just get back here so you can see here if I let me just uh, make the uh, the idea is um, when when the the RSI goes under 30 um, on a four hour chart then what happens uh, it enters a trade and then everything, well, uh, I've, I've, I'll show you now how I set it up. Uh, but the first trade will then uh, put a safety order in 10% lower. Uh, and then the next one will, uh, will put a safety order in uh, about 14% uh, lower. Uh, and then on, on this trade, there was a third safety order that entered. And then I exited uh, with a profit. And so you can see most of my, my orders just the moment it dips below the, the 30 on the RSI, uh, then I, I enter in the trade. Uh, so you can see this last one, two, three, four, five, six trades. It's a, it was just the first order. It just dipped below the 30 and then it entered the, the trade. But in the event that it, that it falls like here, uh, if I even go back here in the past, you can see uh, here in February, we had a, quite a big dip. And so I entered in my base order and then I were able to enter in one, two safety orders bef before it cashed out. Uh, the one off the year was the base order, one safety order, and then it cashed out again. Now, um, this, uh, the, the Cocos uh, coin is just very volatile and it's just excellent uh, for DCA, but it's unfortunately not on bit buy, uh, uh, buy bit. Okay, so to go to my three commas account, I just want to show you how I set it up. So I call this uh, uh, um, bought my Joseph Bybit DCA. Now these are the coins that are my favorite coins that I like to use. So if you want to pause the video and quickly write the, those coins down, uh, you're welcome uh, to do so. Uh, so uh, what I do, I try to, um, I do a multi P bot. So what I try to do is for every 10 coins that I, that I have on my list, uh, I put one trade. So you can see, yeah, I got about 24, 25 coins here. So I only going to trade with two trades. Now my, my, my opening price is a small bot that I made is $10. And I climb in every time when the RSI goes on a four hour below 30. That's when I enter my trade. Now on this bot, I only doing a 5% uh, take profit. And, um, my, my second, uh, safety, uh, my second order is 15%. And so what I do, I increase my volume order with one and a half uh, every time I enter the order. I'm only entering in four safety orders and I uh, expand the distance from where I add the next safety order with 1.4. Uh, and But my first uh, safety order triggers 10% below my entry. So if I look here at my table, so here's a table that explains the base order and then my four safety orders. So um, when when my uh, RSI dips below uh, the, the 30, then it obviously enters the base order, and that will be my 0%. Now, every time it, uh, um, uh, it, it dips to 10%, then it will 
in the first order a 10% below my base order, the second order 24% below my base order, the third one 43.6% below my base order, and then the final one 71.04% under the base order, okay? And so you can also see uh, the amount of um, money that I ended in here, right on the very right hand column. So the first order was $10, uh, the second uh, order it was fifteen dollars, so in in total I had twenty five dollars in there, and then you can see my total then grows to forty seven eighty one, and then uh, the final amount is one hundred and thirty two dollars. So it's not a big amount that I need to do this uh, trade. I need to total one hundred and thirty two dollars, uh, and so that's that's kind of how I set up my bot. Now I want to show you um, the coins that I that I used. Um, so uh, the first coin that I tested was this AAVE uh, coin and I just want to show you my settings for, for setting this up. So um, let me just open up my settings. So in my settings, um, okay, uh, in this example I just started with $100 uh, and then $150 on my, my safety order. Uh, but if you do 10 and 15 it comes to the same, uh, same uh, percentage profit. Uh, so my first safety, uh, I had four safety orders. My first deviation is 10%, uh, percent, and then um, every uh, my my volume goes up with one and a half every time I enter the next trade. And then my safety order step scale is 1.4. Uh, okay, so on this test, my uh, target profit is 10. So I saw whether I make my target, uh, I take profit 5 or 10, it, it comes very close to the same amount. Uh, and then if I go here to my properties, okay, so my initial capital is 1319. Um, uh, that's now if my base order is 100 and, and 150. And then also just to show you my deal start condition, if my RSI is going below the four hour, uh, then I enter the trade. Okay, so that's kind of how I set, set up. Now, if you look at this, uh, what, it, what it would have done, uh, I would have made semi nine percent profit. Okay, now I want to show you. Um, uh, let me just eat the uh, present. Okay, I want to quickly run through all those coins and just show you the results that I came up with. Okay, so that was the the AAVE coin, and for that I was able to do that uh, seventy nine point nine four percent profit. Okay, now my next coin is the the Cardano coin. Uh, now, uh, I don't actually love Cardano that much, but you know what? Over this uh, drop, Cardano actually did really, really well. And so I was able to grow the coin with this setup of 73%. Uh, then the next one is the, the Cosmos coin. Now, the Cosmos did a little bit better. I would have been able, even in this down run, to grow the account with 89%. Uh, and then the AVAX, uh, that is also a favorite of mine to DCA, is 86.85%. Uh, the AXS coin um, is 85.91%. So this is a gaming coin uh, and it's out very well. Uh, then uh, the Chili's coin, 88.73%. Um, uh, so Chili's actually uh, did very, very well. Uh, the CRV surprised me because usually CRV don't do that well uh, on my trades as a DCI coin. But if I would have just followed my strategy over this past year, I would have been able to make 91% on CRV. Uh, the the Dodge coin also did well, uh, 90%. Um, the EGLD uh, that was one that I have a question on. I've I had a read back of EGLD for a long time, so. Uh, I'm always scared to trade this coin, uh, but if I would have traded it, I would have had 77.61%. So that's probably the, the weakest one so far. Uh, then Ethereum Cash. Now, I have expectation that Ethereum Cash is going to go up a lot uh, during this uh, merge of Ethereum. And that's why I wanted to include Ethereum Cash. So it would have also made 77%. Uh, ETH 72. So ETH is a bigger coin. There's a lot of volume. So the movement is, is less. Uh, but it's still we're able to do more than 70%. Uh, then I got this uh, FTM coin. Now, uh, the FTM coin is a, is a gaming coin, and, and this is an amazing coin. 96.91% uh, almost would have doubled my money in this terrible downtrend that we went through. 
Okay, another favorite is Chainlink. So Chainlink also would have uh, done well. Uh, then the, the Central Land uh, over a hundred percent. So you can see the Central Land is up there with uh, Cocos Coin uh, when it comes to a great result. It's very volatile. So almost in all my DCA bots, I always try to include uh, this the Central Land and also the Cocos Coin. Okay, so. Uh, Matic uh, is also part of the the ETH merge. I wanted to include that. 87% growth. Uh, then you got the Near Coin. Now I like the Near Coin, although it doesn't always perform that well. I I just it, um uh, I think uh, there's a lot of future potential for the Near Coin, so I wanted to include that. Uh, and then uh, you have this uh, Ruin uh, Coin. Um, yeah, I can't remember now what is the real name of that coin, but. Uh, it did very well. Uh, uh, the sand uh, box also 85%. Uh, Solana 86%. You know, a lot of people think Solana is dead, but Solana's done so well and is downtrend. Uh, then uh, Theta, the one that Dion uh, that in, a, in our previous video, Dion showed us uh, that Theta is really right now on a strong support level. So even if you just buy it as a scalp trade, there's, there's a lot of potential there. Okay, then we have uh, the the Uni. A coin and so you can see uni 98.69 percent it did very very well uh, then i got the waves coin uh the waves have a uh, coin haven't uh done as well uh recently as it has done in the the year before um uh and and a lot of people are sitting with waves as a read back uh but even uh in this down run uh you would have been able to make 71 percent uh then we have the x LM Stellar, um, so Stellar, uh, uh, that, that's one that I'm considering to leave off my list, uh, XMR, I like uh, Monero, uh, it's a very strong coin, I love to trade Monero against Ethereum or to trade it against Bitcoin, uh, it's a very stable coin, so I like to keep that in my, um, in my portfolio of DCA coins. Uh, then XRP, okay, so the XRP, um, I expect XRP to go up a lot, uh, so it couldn't actually make the 70% level, 68.35, uh, so I thought for now, I'm just going to keep it in my list and see if it can recover some, uh, and then the final one uh, was this uh, XTZ coin, which I removed already from my from my list, um, I just had it, I just thought I'll just keep a slide here, just to show you how well it did. Okay, so yeah, uh, Dion, is there any questions there? Yeah, a few, Joseph. <laughs> Tell me the percentages that you're talking about. Is that on on your on your total capital that you allocated to that coin? So if you gave it one hundred and thirty dollars, on your one hundred and thirty dollars, you would have made seventy or whatever percent. Yeah, uh, that's if I take one year from August last year until August now. Okay, so it's twelve months. So obviously um, it went up a little bit uh, to October, November, and then that's when it started to to drop. Okay, um, so most of those coins had some spikes to the upside that could get me uh, out of some of those trades on the DCA, but it's it's a one year period, and that's a profit on hundred and thirty two dollars. Now um, I, I think I'm gonna make more because I put all those pairs into one multi pair bot. So um, you know the, the problem with with the DCA is because I'm climbing in only when the the RSI dips below four hours. So I could go sometimes for two three weeks without a signal on one coin. Okay, uh, but because I've got a uh, 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 twenty five coins and I'm and, and I'm only trading two coins at a time, um, uh, I get more signals more regularly, and so therefore I can make more profit quicker. So that's why if I would have just traded one coin by itself, I definitely would have just traded with a 10% take profit. Uh, but b uh, since I've got a lot of coins uh, and I've got more signals uh, to, and, and I've got more signals than I've got coins that I'm trading, um, I reduced my take profit to 5% to reduce the time I'm in a trade so it can get to the next sig signal quicker and that makes it a little bit more profitable. Okay, so y your your strategy have you changed? Because originally you were doing that, uh, you were doing seven safeties of 10% exactly apart. So are you now, you, you change over to this new strategy now? Um, so so if I, if I take the year before, uh, when when the market was a little bit more bullish, uh, then I would have done a lot better by just doing seven trades, uh, ten percent apart, 
uh, but then I, I I took this this down trend, and I wanted to see how I can I can optimize um, the the coins uh, and the um, my uh, percentage that I uh, deviate every time when I take a safety order, and also the percentage I need to increase my safety order every time. And so I did. Um, I took all the you know I took. Uh, a price where I just make every safety order the same price, then I increase it by uh, 1.2 factor, then 1.5, then 2, then 3, 2.5, 1.8, 3. I, I tried all the different ones, and then again on my um, the the amount that I increase the 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 space between where I originally enter my safety and the next one. I also went you know on a one factor and then 1.2, 1.5. Um, all the way up to uh, 3, I literally did 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, .1 and I tested each one of those. I also um, uh, opened and closed the size of my very first base order. And so after uh, uh, running through about 20 coins that I really like, um, probably 60 different settings that I, that I ran it through, it took me about two or three days to do it. Then I came up with this setup that I have here today. It is absolutely, in my opinion, probably very close to the most um, uh, uh, profitable setup I can set it up uh, over a downtrend period. It's absolutely insane. I mean, on all your coins, you're doing above 70%. I mean, that's fantastic returns for any investor and it's fairly safe i mean in the, this is like the biggest downtrend we've had in history and you still making 70 percent plus that's fantastic eh? i think the, the one thing yeah. you can maybe do for us is it's, it's going to be confusing to first time as seeing the the bots and the scaling and maybe we must do a video and just explain all that to people um, to our listeners, it, 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 I mean, it is a fantastic strategy. This, and I think many people will benefit from from something like this, investing long term in crypto like this, which is very, very safe. Yeah, so we should really, really consider doing doing that because it's a lot of a lot of information to take in. Yeah, absolutely. And also, uh, what happens um, is, you know, uh, I was looking at about eighty different coins um, in Bybit. Uh, and only that 25 coins could achieve better than 70% profit. So it's not every single coin that you pick will do that immediately. Some of them only made 5 or 10% profit for that period. Some of them, you know, are stuck in, in a coin for over 200 days. So that's why you have to be careful uh, that you choose coins that are volatile enough. So that little bit of up just can get you out of uh, coins. Okay. Uh, thank you guys, um, uh, Dion, uh, thank you for uh, um, yeah, your input today. Uh, we're going to be back tomorrow again and we're going to look at uh, what's happening with Bitcoin. Um, hopefully uh, we have a proper signal on that theater uh, trade. I'm just going to put in that theater trade. I think this is in a good position. I think it's a good support. Uh, but, you know, I like the DCA, so it's very safe. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dion. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Joseph. That was very educational. Thanks, man. See you guys tomorrow. Cheers.